Welcome to the new song cafe at worshiptogether.com. Today we have Will Reagan from United Pursuit and Tasha Cobbs singing the song Fill Me Up. So sit back and enjoy this new song cafe. Will and Tasha, it's so good to be here with you. Great to be here. Good to be here. Yeah. Man, I, I love you guys being able to get together and talk about uh, this song it's called Fill Me Up. And, uh, and you guys were able to collaborate a little bit on Break Every Chain, which became uh, obviously just a huge song for the church. Tasha, you were able to uh, make a huge impact uh, with your audience with it as well. It's been just such a, a blessing song. And uh, so this is one of the, another one of those collaborations, and we hope that it has the same impact in the church as Break Every Chain has been. Uh, but I'm going to let you guys play it together, and then uh, we'll come back around and we'll talk about the song a little bit. Cool. Perfect. Man, such a great job, guys. Ooh. That was really special. Love the collaboration yeah. and uh, really like taking kind of two versions of the same song and sort of combining both of you guys' yeah. wow. uh, influences on it. Pulled Man, it really special. That's great. I feel like we're on crossroads or something. That's <laughs> 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 great. Um, well, man, let's talk about this song a little bit. And Will, we'll start with you because I know um, this came out of uh, the, the worship time here. Uh, with United Pursuit, and talk about this song, and it's a real simple song, um, but really uh -huh. powerful, uh -huh. and um, 
Uh, just give us a little bit of the, the start of the song. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this song kind of bubbled out of a specifically a gathering where there was a lot of college students. Um, and so there was something about just like the hunger of that uh-huh. demographic. Um, and it was, it was a lot of hungry students. And I think we were praying a lot about like, we have the university of Tennessee campus here and we we're just praying a lot for the campus and stuff. And so it just, it, it was more than anything. It felt like just a response, wow. putting, putting language around what the, the heart cries of the room and the, the prayers were. So that's where it yeah. came from. It's really interesting. I mean, you know, th- this white kid from East Tennessee, and yet, yet these <laughs> melodies <laughs> feel like that they were really meant for Taj to sing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's funny. I say that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but Tasha, talk about the song and just like what it's meant to you. And um, you've really owned this song and really and like added even your own, you know, original piece at the end of the song there with you know, fill me up to let overflow, yeah. which is just such a great natural fit for the song. And, but talk about just its connection to you and, and how, you, how you first connected to the song. Will is actually one of my favorite writers. I think he has, um, he has this divine ability to, to, to write the heart of the worshiper, mm-hmm. what you desire to say. And it crosses cultures, it, you know, it crosses boundaries um, that may have been set up. But uh, this song, the first time I heard it again, just like Break Every Chain, I was like, wow, this sounds like something that I could just, you know, release. And I did it at my church for the first time. And, and we had such an amazing encounter with God. Uh, so this, again, was just one of those songs like, hey, I have to, I have to release this. So. Uh, um, actually, years ago, maybe about three, two or three years ago when I heard it, I started, I added it to my set list on the road. <laughs> so I, tr- I was traveling around just singing, fill me up, God, fill me up, God. Um, and when we when we came to record my next project, that was just like Break Every Chain, I said, this is one song we have to do. Uh, so I just kind of, I've fallen in love with your pig. <laughs> like, you're an absolutely amazing writer. So thank you, you know, for writing The Heart of the Worshipper. It, it's it's absolutely thank amazing. you for giving it wings it's awesome yeah. yeah it's been it's been an amazing collaboration and uh, so we'll walk us through kind of what you're playing there there's there's some uh quite a few just different chords and, and some progressions on this song yeah um, not, just give us a, an idea of what you're playing not too bad uh just for the verses it's the uh the minor six and one um and then at the very end lands on that four right before the chorus is the only time in the verse that it hits that uh, four and then chorus is just fill me up six fill me it's like a one over three three um, chord four and walk up to the five back to the six and you just repeat that for the chorus yeah uh, and then the love of God overflow part is just a four and a one so love of God overflow for me and then the new chorus is a six. Fill me up till I four overflow. A one, a one, a one, a one, a five. There yeah. you go. Yeah, and it all deal. naturally fits so sweet together. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Guys, thanks so much for making the time to get together. It's really special. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Fill me up until. 